If Jude Bellingham, as you say, the, definitely the player of the first half, 17 years old, is that a youth problem? Because if you're good enough, you're old enough, surely, Janesh. Well, it is. I mean, he couldn't do done much better. I mean, hit the post right there. Uh, you know, he. It is in a way. I mean, not not because they drop points here, but I think be, you know it's hard to ask. 16 and 17 year olds sometimes to be clinical in what they do where well, you ask them to 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 look like experienced players which they did and then you have a man like marco royce that was one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper then didn't, didn't do that then you have a penalty and he doesn't even hit the target he misses it that is the problem not jude bellingham and and not Jaden sancho and not those players it's marco royce in times when they need him he's got a score Roman Berkey, the goalkeeper, was very experienced. When he was asked that one question, he didn't answer it. And people say it was a good shot from Ushtunali. Yes, it was. But if you watch it closely, I think Roman Berkey is capable of saving that. So that to me is the difference. Those two moments, two very experienced players that need to help these young, young players that put them in a position to win the game because they have put them in a position uh, to win the game. And also just speaking of the young players and in their defence to continue that point is that Gio Reyna, when he's not in the team, the stats aren't as good when it comes to the wins. So you talked about Borussia Dortmund being under a new coach. You like what you're seeing from them. Is it better than what we saw under Lucien Favre? Well, it is a num number of levels. I mean, if you just look statistically coming into the games, four wins out of five match in, uh, matches for Terzic, right? It was just one win, I think, in five for Lucien Favre. Changed the formation from three in the back where they played, right? I mean, they were for long periods of time to 4 2 three, one, which I think has helped them uh, play, uh, pressing much, much higher. Uh, the line of defense is a little bit higher. And I think they're very good in winning the ball very quickly and creating those opportunities, which they've done. I mean, they've created enough to win two, game, uh, two games today. So, again, I look at Terzic and would have been – a better story had they won this game, of course, but I look at him as a little bit of what uh, Hansi Flick has done at Bayern Munich, right? Hansi Flick came in young, inexperienced, interim coach turn full-time coach who has won every trophy last season. I'm not saying that Terzic can do that, but he's also an interim one. People seem to be looking at maybe other coaches, but I think he's done a pretty good job. A little bit unfortunate. Again, I don't want to make excuses because they've got to beat Mainz, who are last in the table here. But I think this team is different. And, um, you know, on a positive note, even though the result wasn't as good as they would have uh, wished for. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.